<clears throat> hey, Central Florida philosophers and David Norton. I'm going to read uh, on uh, Abraham's and Isaac's story. <clears throat> so, sometime later, God tested Abraham. Uh, he said to him, Abraham, here I am. Abraham replied. Then God said, take your son, your only son, whom you love, Isaac, and go to the region of Moriah. Sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mountain I will show you. So early the next morning, Abraham got up and loaded his donkey. He took with him two of his servants and his son Isaac. When he had cut enough wood for the burnt offering, he set out for the place God had told him about. On the third day, Abraham looked up and saw the place in the distance. He said to his servants, Stay here with the donkey while I and the boy go over there. We will worship and then we will come back to you. Abraham took the wood for the burnt offering and placed it on his son Isaac. And he himself carried the fire and the knife. As the two of them went on together, Isaac spoke up and said to his father, Abraham, he said, Father? Yes, my son, Abraham replied. The fire and the wood are here, Isaac said. But where is the lamb for the burnt offering? Abraham answered, God himself will pro provide the lamb for the burnt offering, my son. Is this the real prophecy that turned out to be true? But at the time Abraham said these things, he believed he was going to sacrifice Isaac. And the two of them went on together. When they reached the place God had told him about, Abraham built an altar there and arranged the wood on it. He bound his son Isaac and laid him on the altar on top of the wood. Then he reached out his hand and took the knife to slay his son. But the angel of the Lord called out to him from heaven, Abraham, Abraham, here I am, he replied. Do not lay a hand on the boy. Do not do anything to him. Now I know that you fear God because you have not withheld from me your son, your only son. Why would a person have to fear God? Did Eurydice fear God? Did Abraham seek to be like God when he was willing to sacrifice his own son to show God that he was capable of killing his own son as God allowed him to kill animals? Instead of looking at sacrifice as an existence, did Abraham turn it into a position to be like God? God before the fall in the Garden of Eden there was open communication with existence without fear only when Adam and Eve deceived themselves did they have fear of God they created their own God and should be fearful of something that does not exist In the case of Abraham, his own prophecy in a lie to Isaac became true. Existence did provide a ram to satisfy the hunger of Abraham to sacrifice something to God. If I accept that anything that comes to my mind as being from God, I am only exalting myself to be like God. Was she warned of an impending danger or should she have been aware of walking in the high grass? Perhaps it was fate and all of these things were hidden from her. Does fear come from a, a person's own ignorance of existence rather than an expectation of an outside source being responsible for our own choices? Abraham looked up and there in a thicket he saw a ram caught by its horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it 
as a burnt offering instead of his son. So Abraham called that place the Lord will provide. And to, and to this day it is said, On the mountain of the Lord it will be provided. So how does a person look upon God or existence as a provider or as a teacher from the experiences of our life? The angel of the Lord called to Abraham from heaven a second time and said, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will surely bless you and make you descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand in the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies and through your offspring all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. If God made man into his own image and then man chose the forbidden fruit of knowledge to be like God, how could Abraham know the difference between the voice he heard that he claims was God and an existence of himself being like God? The Hebrew story about Jesus Christ, a story about God elevating ourselves above his son, a step beyond the creation story, where people believe God sacrificed himself for their benefit mm. <clears throat> so what do I think well let me try to answer some of these questions mm. let's see so the first question uh, well, let's see. So, God said to Abraham, Kill me, your son. Abe said, Man, you must be putting, in, putting me on. God said, No. Abe said, What? God, you can do what you want, Abe, but the next time you see me coming, you better run. And Abe said, where you want this killing done? God said, out on Highway 61. <laughs> so that's, a, that's a song uh, Bob Dylan wrote. It's called uh, Highway 61 Revisited. So perhaps, well, Highway 61 is a mythological uh, landmark in uh, American history, in blues uh, history. <clears throat> um, it's a highway that runs from way up north all the way to New Orleans. <clears throat> uh, but what's that got to do with this? No, it just, it just um, an interesting uh, song in verse uh, that Bob Dylan throws in this story <clears throat> um, and others in that in that song uh, let's see but uh, well the first question I think um, David asks Oh, yeah, here it is. Is this the real prophecy that turned out to be true? But at the time Abraham said these things, he believed he was going to sacrifice Isaac. Hmm. Well, it doesn't have... Uh, maybe it's <clears throat> it needs to be uh, corrected grammatically, maybe, but... Or something else. Uh, is this the real prophecy that turned out to be true? So, what he's saying there is that Abraham didn't know that God would eventually provide the lamb for the burnt offering. But he, he, uh, 
came up with that answer for his son because his son said asked him where's the lamb for the burnt offering and Abraham believes that that his son will be the burnt offering but he's not gonna tell him uh, you're gonna be the burnt offering so he he kind of sort of lies but not really he answers it in a way that it's not a lie because in a way God is providing the offering but in the form of his son you could say um, so anyway that's something to think about that uh, could it be the that he came to that answer uh, was a coincidence that it would come true or did God rev uh, throw into his mind the uh, correct response and what's another question okay Oh, let's see. Why would a person have to fear God?